Hey guys, welcome to another episode on the Majestic Bean channel. Today we're gonna do episode 5 of the Coffee Bean review series. I have Valeria next to me here and Madeline behind the camera. So Valeria is the Italian girl that doesn't drink espresso, she just likes milky drinks. And Madeline is the barista that doesn't like coffee at all. So we have some weird people joining us today. What I have here for this episode is a Christmas blend from Single O, which is a roaster from Sydney that we have had many coffees featured on our channel. And if you're asking me if they're paying us any money for this, they're not, but they can send the check if they want to. This blend here is the Christmas edition blend consisting of coffee from Honduras, coffee from Uganda and Guatemalan coffee. Now it doesn't say how all of these coffees are processed, but I'm gonna guess they're all naturals. Although for the Ugandan coffee, it does say that it's carbonic maceration process. It's supposed to be a omni roast, which means that it's a coffee that works with all brewing methods, or at least that's what it says here. So they're saying that it works for espresso, cold coffee, spiked coffee, so coffee with alcohol, filter coffee. So, I mean, it looks good to me. I haven't opened this bag, so we're gonna have a little, little whiff. But to be honest, I am pretty excited about this coffee. Good sniff. Let's see what Valeria has to say. Mm. She is the Italian coffee expert on the team. Mm. Good stuff. Mm. Mary, you want to have a... Do I look believable? Whiff? It smells like coffee, to be honest. But... I think so. Mm. Well, it smells okay. It smells but it doesn't pretty... smell like Christmassy, you know? It's just meant like coffee. Did you say the tasting notes? Mm. Ah, tasting notes, yes. It says over Thank here. Thank you for reminding me, Madeline. I was expecting like a tinsel and baubles and yeah, Christmassy thing. Okay, so we're expecting tasting notes of sugar, spice, juicy plum, baked apple and caramel slice. Well, the spice... The I reckon that's pretty apple. Christmassy to me. Okay, but I didn't smell anything. Well, no, you can't. Wait, hold on! <laughs> you can pick up a lot of the aromas from a coffee when it's ground. So, when you're smelling whole bean coffee, you're getting some pleasant notes, but then when you grind it and take a whiff, it's gonna be much better. Let's do it. I reckon we need to start. We do the standard stuff. 19 gram dose, one to two brewing ratio, and we'll take it from there. I kinda like it, it smells very nice. But to be honest, Single have never disappointed me. I have probably ordered seven times so far this year. Probably had at least 15 bags of coffee from them, different origins. Sometimes I would order their blends and so on, but they have literally never disappointed me. Always good coffee. And some of you may say, oh, it's boring. You're just ordering coffees from the same old roasters and what I say to that is I pay for this coffee so I order whatever I want. Maybe Singolo can offer one us, to, no, to us one day. Singolo can send the check whenever they want. <laughs> Just send it through. We'll take care of everything else. At the moment I have the sete on 6D. And if you haven't watched our video where I do a quick review of the sete, then click on that link above and you can watch that episode as well. Let's start. That's so cool. It just shoots it down. This grinder is fucking amazing. I love it. I just wonder if how long it's gonna last, but 
Let's live in the present moment. Yes, exactly. Let's not worry about the future. So, 19 grams. Yay! Have a whip now. Mari, come here. More. It's, I don't know. It's. You can smell a bit more, but to me, it's still it's like. More a, aromatic. Yeah, it smells different from before, but. Mm. A little bit it's more. Smells, it smells spicy. You know, like uh, like a cinnamon spice. Let's put it that way. Oh, the Christmas spirit is coming out. This is gonna be. I have a good feeling about this. Just gonna use the little toothpick because we are too poor and too cheap to get ourselves a distribution tool. But let us begin. Machine is preheated. Excellent. I think I'll have to grind a bit finer. We have 19 grams in, 40-ish grams out, just above 40. And we have 25 seconds extraction. It's not going to be bad. The good thing about this grinder is that the grind size is much more uniform than before, right? So that means that the it's less likely for coffee to channel using this grinder my coffee is tasting much much better than it used to with any of the previous grinders i was using and i'm super happy with it just amazing stuff for 500 australian buckaroos anyway we have a double espresso here cheers Ooh, that is fucking thick. <laughs> That's a thick boy right there. You, you see, you see when. All right. Okay. What's your impression? That's a. Mm. That it's, has. How do you say it? full body when yes. it's like that thick? Full bodied and syrupy. <laughs> mm. So yes, it is. Wow. I wouldn't say it's full body. It's I would put it on a medium medium body, but very syrupy mouth feel. Maddie? Give it a go, Maddie. Let's be COVID safe and all drink from <laughs> the same cup. Definitely mm. getting a tasting note of um, apple acidity. No, no, I don't. But it's red, I trust you. It's red apple acidity. Probably what, what's that apple called? Uh, fuck, I forgot the name. It doesn't matter. Pink Lady? Yes, yes. <laughs> oh Pink my lady. god! Pink Lady Apple Christmas Acidity Day. We will tweak this recipe. I just need to figure out what I need to tweak because this tastes very nice. I don't think I need a longer extraction. What I might need is to extend the yield even further. So increase the yield maybe to 43 grams maybe just to clean it up because there is a bit of an aftertaste to it that is not necessarily bad it just i feel like this way if i extended the yield i would clean it up a bit so i'm not going to change the grind setting at the moment only increase the yield and see how we go that's why i'm also following what i was talking in one of our previous episodes about dialing in coffee where I'm changing only one parameter at a time while dialing in. So I'm not going against my own rules. You're doing what you preach. What are you recommending? Hmm? It's definitely like acidic, if that's what I think I'm tasting. But um, <laughs> it doesn't taste like Christmas to me. We need some what do you know about Christmas? We need a sprinkle of cinnamon in it, okay? <laughs> yeah, like... But wait, try, try it now, because now you can get get a bit of uh, cinnamon Maybe as it cools down you see how on the on the size of on your tongue sides. you're getting a bit of um, i don't know like how to describe it it's just a it's tingling some sort of feel like some triggering flavor if you've ever eaten if you ever <laughs> <laughs> if you have ever done the cinnamon challenge <laughs> you know what we're talking about <laughs> You remember the cinnamon challenge? Huh? It, it tastes different from before, but I don't 
Yeah. But still, Matt is not convinced. Yeah, still. Madeline, not convinced. But then again, Madeline doesn't drink coffee and she's a barista, so, so I don't know, man. I'm confused. So what the hell does she know? <laughs> All right, then we're gonna do another experiment. So let's increase the yield. It kind of shows that when you're dialing in a coffee, the one to two brewing ratio for espresso is an excellent starting point and then you take it from there instead of and also it, you should you guys should keep it consistent as well so if you are dialing in with a one to two brewing ratio do that every time you're dialing in a new coffee that way keeping things nice and consistent results in uh, traceable results. Makes sense. If that makes sense. Let's do this again. I mean, how cool is the packaging? Yes. Like, does it shine? Look at this packaging. Look at this. Uh. Brew you. 2020 edition. Mamma mia. Que bello. to use this anymore no look how fluffy it is yeah i know and no no static at all this is probably the best 500 dollars i've ever spent and i hope nothing happens to the grinder because i'm talking a lot of positive things and i don't want to jinx it and also barats i can send the check as well so it's a good reminder. Send the fucking check, please. Alrighty, take two. 19 in, 43 out. Did it come out too fast? 19 in, 44 and a half out. Let's put it that way. In around 26 seconds. Now we're gonna have a taste and see how much of a difference three grams of increased yield make in a cup look how syrupy that is look at that and no guys this is not the crema here so don't fucking talk shit about crema <laughs> but the the way it's so syrupy a lot this is gonna taste amazing with milk i can already tell mm. yep that's better is it because the with more yield the coffee has more like room to develop all the flavors and... uh, I, I think we talked in one of the other videos it yeah. just it it, it kind of dilutes it a bit yeah yeah so true. it waters it down meaning it's gonna be less pungent but many times when you're extending the yield you're cleaning up the cup of coffee meaning you're cleaning up the tastes of it so for example now no aftertaste at all literally no bad aftertaste it tastes pleasant um, it is still medium bodied uh, as it cools down probably we're gonna get some of that nice. apple crispness as well and the cinnamon it's like we're at church <laughs> <laughs> the communion is it <laughs> share the body of christ Mm. Well, it's very nice. It's, There's actually no aftertaste. It's beautiful. This is quite nice. I'm just gonna see if when it cools down, we're gonna get a bit of acidity. Because, uh, I don't know, when, when, it's, when it's hotter, I'm not getting um, any fruit acidity. Oh, happy face there is a there is an apple sweetness to it as well right mm. apple sweet acidity sweet acidic taste something like that yeah a good way to describe it is a pink lady apple taste i think yes it's, it's fucking yeah it's, it's this is it's weird but now i can taste the apple acidity as i said single all doesn't disappoint so 19 grams in 
43 out around 25 26 seconds it works fine for us we're gonna make a flat white and see how we go for the flat white for the milky drink I think I'm gonna decrease the yield because I want a more concentrated drink that's gonna be diluted by the milk if my logic is correct then I will need to grind finer this time just because I need to decrease the yield but at the same time increase the extraction time so I was at 6d so I'm probably gonna go back a bit towards 6d and see how I go there are so many Christmas blends out there and if you are looking for a Christmas blend make sure you get it from the right roaster because all of them are offering a Christmas blend but not all of them taste nice so make sure you support your favorite coffee roaster first of all smell that caramel slice um. have you ever smelled a caramel slice before matter you've smelled a caramel slice before oh yeah <laughs> she's the caramel slice expert yeah, i just smell coffee <laughs> <laughs> disappointment i didn't smell any caramel slice no confirmation bias here <laughs> the fact checker this little toothpick here helps distribute the coffee evenly across the basket and it literally costs probably a cent unlike the distribution tools that cost two hundred dollars yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do 19 in what am I gonna do? before it was 43 so I'm gonna do maybe 35 make it a bit more concentrated and see if I need to grind even finer I'm looking for extraction time of at least 25 seconds let us see yeah that's gonna be a bit too fast then. Mm. Let's see. So that was 22 seconds 35 grams up Steam some milk. Hmm? Did you do a double espresso again? Mm. No, for but this this one's gonna be for milk. Yeah, but is there any reason why you did two, two shots instead of one? Uh, well, just having one shot when I when I'm dosing 19 grams in might be too too diluted by the milk, you know. So the single espresso might not be enough because this cup is I think around 200 and something mil. So I just want to see how it's going to taste with a double espresso in it. Maybe it's going to be too overpowering and then we're just going to try with a single espresso. It's all experimenting guys. See whatever works for you. It's so good having a PID kit on the Gaja because steaming milk is a pleasure now. Whereas before I had to time shit and then wait a bit and then I just said fuck that, you know. Now look at this, 30 seconds, I'm up to temperature, we have 160 degrees, steam temperature. And as soon as it hits it, it drops a bit and then it maintains it between 159 and 160 life is easy look at that Woo. let's get steamy so shout out to adrian from shades of coffee after all he did a good job with this stuff highly recommend the pad kit we will also do a uh, second video about the pad kit where we're gonna talk about it 
and about how it has performed over the past what is it now two three months just to have a little overview after using it for a while we're ready let's try it with milk Not convinced. Yeah, it's 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 not great. Okay. It just tastes what can I say? watery. That's how I would say it tastes watery, and that's probably because, as I said, we had an extraction time of twenty-two seconds. So, just maybe the espresso is a bit underwhelming, and ma that's making the milky drink tastes a bit maybe watery and I don't know just underdeveloped yeah I don't taste much so now we need to grind finer so I might need to move from six to five and leave the micro setting as it is and see how much of a difference that's gonna make I'm expecting around a four second difference which would be ideal because we had a 22 second extraction so now we should expect somewhere around 27 let's go things have slowed down a bit yes which is good so that was a 33 second extraction that was a bit overshoot but might be the good the good one hmm? I don't know mm -hmm. might be a bit too long well yeah like roasters every year do a Christmas blend and this is their version of the Christmas blend it's just they're calling it something else what is it brew you 2020 yes. very interesting approach <laughs> No comment? Okay. No, I'm not satisfied with it. Oh. I don't want to taste. That, does it taste like a bit burnt? Yeah, probably. Yeah? It's possible. I mean, obviously the double espresso approach is going to have different results. But I have a feeling we're getting not so good results because of the double espresso as well. So it's a combination of too much coffee to milk ratio and also obviously a very slow extraction time. So I think this time we will stick to a single espresso in the cup and maybe not filling the cup to the brim and see how we go. Also we're gonna grind a bit uh, coarser now just to have a fast ex extraction time. It's not that it tasted unpleasant like before, because before it tasted watery. Yeah. Now it just tasted uh, very full bodied, almost bitter. Not so bitter as in just, um, it feels like the espresso is overpowering the milk and it's not a pleasant se sensation. It was a bit bitter actually. There, yes, to me. there is bitterness. But you're used, you're used to do milk coffees with usually one shot instead of two yeah i just wanted to see what happens okay experiment a bit in the coffee lab So we got 19 in, 36 out in 26 seconds. And we're gonna do a single shot of coffee with milk. Yep. 
this is a definitely positive result. Mm. So my suspicion that a double espresso in oh. this cup with milk yeah. seems to be overpowering and a single shot of espresso is the way to go. Caramel is nice. Maddie, I think you should try this one. So hopefully she won't be disappointed. Yeah, I think it's caramel. It's pleasant. Oh my it's god, nice your face. <laughs> Well, don't expect an exact caramel slice. <laughs> wow, I just like eating one. <laughs> <laughs> we have I... a nice creamy cup of coffee. I'd say, as I said before, it has a medium body, nice mouth feel to it, but it's just pleasant to drink with milk. So there are no harsh flavors or aftertaste to it like before. It's definitely not flat like before as well. So it just seems that what I thought that maybe I should try a double espresso was a wrong idea and that a single espresso is the way to go when it comes to this cup with milk. Agree. So I'm very happy with it. So we saw that for black coffee, for espresso, we had 19 grams in, 43 out in around 26 seconds. And for milk, it was 19 in, 36 out in 26 seconds. So the extraction time was literally the same, but we had to decrease the yield in order to mix the espresso with milk. And that way we had a more concentrated drink that's going to be diluted by the milk so i reckon that's about it for today what do you reckon mate i think that the last version was the best yes i think i think we can put some this coffee on. seems to be a very delicious pleasant coffee that's that can be enjoyed both with milk or without I'm guessing it'll taste nice as filter as well. So good job to single O, right? They did an amazing job yet again. And yet again, I'm gonna say, send a check. All right, see you later. Bye-bye. Hey, hey, buckaroos, how'd you like that? No matter if you did or didn't, tell us what you think in the comments below. We love you either way. Check out the two suggested videos, subscribe to the channel, and while you're here, have a look at our social media accounts. We have some cool content over there as well. Alrighty, time to fuck out of here. Peace.